Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It is an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your continued support, it truly means the world. For those of you that would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if you would like to donate to the channel for any of these videos, you can do so on the web link below. If you haven't seen it yet, your 2019 12 month forecast is up and out there for your viewing pleasure, totally free of cost. And also uh, the Life Path numerology series I have been posting. If you haven't seen yours yet, check it out. There is also a video up there that explains the power of numerology and there is another one that helps you calculate your birth life path number. So with that said, I would like to bless all of my decks with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Changing it up this week because I like to keep us all on our toes. I like to keep growing. I am an Aquarius. I like to do things differently. Um, and I like to keep stretching myself and ultimately keeping you guys and myself on my toes. <clears throat> So what are you letting go of this week? What are you phasing out? What are you removing from your life? And you've got the nine of pentacles. This is beautiful because it kind of says to me that you've been, uh, it's almost like you've been on this mad kick to constantly be doing things and you've been working really hard and focused on things and you know, like really putting the details and the fine print on stuff. And it kind of feels to me like you're letting go of that this week. You're kind of easing it back a bit. It's kind of like you're saying to yourself, right, okay, I can stop burning so bright and so hot. You know, this is a card of refinement. It's a card of nice things. It's a card of good, good things and enjoyment. But it also represents skill and putting things together, you know, in minute detail. And it kind of says that this week you're letting go of that. You can kind of start to pull it back, ease it back a little bit where you can just say, right, okay, you know what? I'm going to go more for the enjoyment rather than be, you know, stuck with my you know, pen and pad and whatnot. It's almost like you you can let go of the research this week is the words that I'm hearing, um, you know? And that's quite apt for me actually when I think about how much work I've been doing on the separate projects that I've got going on at the moment. And it does, it feels like, okay, this will finally be the week where we can just smooth it off and ease it back a bit and just enjoy what we've put in so far, which is lovely. Um, you know, very, very similar message to Libra, actually. Uh, so what are we working on now? You know, what will, be, what will we be working on this week? What is the bulk or the meat of the matter? The Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> you know, I know it's going to say, uh, you know, you can ease up with your nose on the grindstone. Well, apparently not. The interesting thing is for me here, it's kind of like you're phasing out of the ideas so it's like you're coming out of the ideas and the building things and the, you know, making things and writing things and putting them together. Whereas this week you'll be actually doing them. The Eight of Pentacles says that the bulk of this week then is going to be, excuse me, is going to be about the work. It's going to be about doing what you do. So you're moving out of the ideas phase, you're moving out of the conceptual phase and you're moving into the actually doing it. So all of the ideas, all of the efforts, all of the research, it's all done now. So now you can focus on the task at hand. Now you can start doing. The Eight of Pentacles is all about work, doing the work, going to work, being at work you know, um, and finding work. For those of you that are looking for work, it feels very much for me like you're moving out of your previous sector. It's almost like the feeling that I get from it is you wanna move away from what you did before and you wanna go in a new direction. For those of you that are unemployed or no longer working, you know, of working age or whatever, this talks about finding a new craft. It talks about you finding something new to do. It's about finding a new way to expend your energy. It's kind of like working, but not feeling like you're at work. This is one of the reasons I love what I do because although it's my job, although it's my work, I don't feel like I'm at work with a boss breathing down my neck 24 seven. So this is about finding a craft and a passion as opposed to just, um, you know, <clears throat> just doing the work and it also says you're coming out of that ideas research conceptual phase and you're moving towards the actual doing it this is a week for implementation not you know getting details together this is a week to do not to think 
uh, for an Aquarius, right, really? Uh, <laughs> what are we welcoming in this week? The Devil card. So this is about not getting too attached to it. It actually feels to me like this might be a week where we have a tendency to be a bit of a workaholic. Um, and I want to caution against that. You know, I kind of feel this week is just, it's going to be full of everything that you love to do but it's also going to be a week where you're constantly working. So it feels to me like when you have moments to have downtime, it's a time for you to have that downtime. It's a time for you to really, you know, have and enjoy that experience. Um, you know, take breaks, take moments where you can walk away from it, no matter how much you love something. And I say this for myself, especially as, well, not especially, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, even with this, with doing all of this, I love it, I absolutely do. But when it's time for me to switch off, there are times where I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll put it down. And then I find myself scribbling or, you know, doing the next thing. This is a week where you need to enjoy the breaks that you have and utilize the breaks that you have. Because it feels to me like this week's gonna be really, really busy Aquarius, like really busy, ram-packed, which in one way is beautiful. In another, you know, it can deplete your physical energy. So keep that in mind. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Does the new format work for you? Do you love it or loathe it? I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. Have an amazing week. Let me know in the comments. Take care. See you soon.